So the first issue comes out November 22nd, 2017, and then it's a 12 issue series. It's unlike any story that I've ever written. It's unlike any story that Gary's ever drawn. The last comic book I wrote was DC Universe Rebirth number one. There's a piece of that book that, that relates to the story Doomsday Clock that I'm doing with Gary Frank and Brad Anderson. And that is, we hinted that somebody had been messing with time. Somebody's experimenting with time in, in the DC Universe. And we reveal a hint that that is Dr. Manhattan. There was kind of a temporal anomaly in uh, the Batcave, a chronal explosion, and there was an object that came out of it. And Batman uncovered it, he pried it loose from this cavern wall, and as he pulled it out, the big image was Batman holding comedian's smiley face button. When the seed of the idea started to happen, uh, in my head and I talked to Gary about it, Gary Frank about it, that Dr. Manhattan would be this character and would intersect with the DC Universe in a very subtle way at the end of the Rebirth special. Both of us were rightly so nervous about it. I think there's a real slippery slope of just saying, oh, let's have Rorschach and Batman have a fist fight. We're not interested in just kind of having some funny mashup because that's not what we're doing. What we're trying to do is take the philosophy and the tones and the thematics of Watchmen and some of the subjects they dealt with. And Watchmen has a very specific thematic and, and uh, viewpoint and the DC Universe has several, but ultimately one. And we, talked a lot about what that would look like in 2016 that in November the election happened in, in the US and then a lot of other things happened in the world and I was looking at everything and I reread Watchmen and suddenly one day the story just it was in my head and I called Gary Frank and I said okay Gary I think I have the story and he was like okay let, let me hear it and I pitched it to him and he said I have to draw that story the book is, and Gary and I have studied Watchmen and looked at Watchmen and read it and, and of course love it. And we want to do our own thing, but at the same time you want to play into some of the structural tenets that that book created and some of the dynamics and some of the tones it created. And so although we have a book that is very, I think, dramatic and mysterious and intriguing, it's also a little quirky. The characters are a little off, the characters that we're playing with. And it'll be very apparent in issue one. There's, there's a bit of humor to it, I think, in a very odd way. But our main word, if there's one word for it, is thought-provoking. And we want people to think about it. They can think about it in fun ways. They can think about it in serious ways. But whatever's happening when they're reading the book and they're in the book, or when they reread the book, that they'll really just think. <laughs>